and the global community has been nudged to deliver on their promises to fund the $100 billion climate financing as COP28 enters its final lap in Dubai. Now, this is part of Nigeria's message at the summit, which also stressed that Africa's plight cannot be ignored. Now, the message was delivered by Minister of Environment, Balarabe Abbas Lawa. Here is Charles Afa with the report. The sixth assessment report produced by the Intergovernmental Panel on the State of Climate Impact is already sounding an alarm, and it is the cry from Earth to heal the wounds that human activities have inflicted. President Bola Tinubu, in an address to the Leaders' Summit read by the Minister of Environment, Balarabe Abbas Lawal, said climate change is impacting heavily, but few countries are willing to contribute their fair share. This, he said, means developing countries will continue to suffer if pledges and promises made are not honored to cushion the effects of climate impacts. President Bolatinibu believes the developed nations are afraid that strong actions against climate change will weaken their economies, lower their standards and erode their esteemed place in the world order. And that's why they hesitate to take action while the developing world suffer. Nigeria, on its part, the president said, is committed to reducing greenhouse gas emission by moving to cleaner energy sources, but that countries must do their bit to honor the Paris Agreement on the $100 billion climate financing. From Dubai, Charles Alpha, NTN News.